we started with our strips just like we have on here. Um, we started with our strips at one and three quarter inches wide and our center square of two and a half inches. So here is your center square. We sewed our first strip up here, pressed it back. We went, instead of clockwise, we are going across and putting on the dark. Then we're impressing it open. Then we're going to do the same thing on this. We're going to go with our light side and then our dark side, all right? So once you've added these pieces and pressed them, you are now ready to trim, just like always with your log cabin trim tool rulers. You're going to line up your standard size. You're going to line up round one, and you're going to make your cuts to trim it. You're going to rotate your block as what you always do. Line up your lines, your center square, and trim again. All right, so now your all four sides are trimmed. Now we're going to add our flying geese units. These size of these squares um, and the fact that you draw a line across the diagonal is in the pattern. What you're going to do is, you, this is going to be your, your line of where your lights and darks are. Remember how we had, we've got our light on one side and our dark on the other. So your geese are actually going to segment between the two. So you're going to line up on a corner. You're going to put your square right on the square of the fabric, and you're going to stitch on that line. You're going to do the same thing in the other corner. Line up on here and stitch. This has been calculated out so that when you do your stitching, you can see how that line meets there at that corner, okay? So once you've stitched the, these on here, you're going to trim a quarter inch from your seam line and flip it back, all right? Press it back going to do the same thing on this side. You're going to trim this and then you're going to flip it back. Now this has already been trimmed all the way around and you're ready for round two. Okay as we continue with round two you're going to place your dark on one on the dark side and your light on the light side. Then you're going to add a dark and you're going to add a light so that you have two of each. Are you following us here? got four logs but you've got two darks and two lights. You've started with them opposing and then you go opposing again. Once you sew these on like you've done before and press them back then you're going to trim it. Okay now that you've trimmed it you're going to add your corner square just like you did before. Follow the geese, follow the line between light and dark. Pin your squares on here. Pin your second square on there. Sew on the line and then clip it just like you've done before. Here's both geese, if you want to call them that, sewn onto the second round. Now I'm going to add my, my dark. I'm going to add a light. I'm going to stitch them down, press them back, add my other light, my other dark, press them back, and then I'm going to trim all the way around. It's the same process all the way around every time. Ready to keep going? Here we are, we've got three geese on there on each side now. So once again, we're going to add another strip, a dark on the dark side, let's put it here, and a light on the light side. 
we're going to stitch them down and press them back. And then we're going to come back in and we're going to add a light to the light side, stitch it, press it, dark, stitch it, press it. Here's the three, here's the two darks and the light, and we're ready to trim. We're going to trim our block. Once again, I don't need to show you that. And then once again, you're going to line up in the corner after you trim, stitch these down and flip them back. 